Hi, welcome to Kativi 5 video tutorial. Another remake of an old one, now in HD and with audio commentary. It's a simple revolve and a circular pattern. So, let's have fun with Kativi 5. Okay, let's start with a sketch on the Y set plane. Hide as usual those yellow projected elements. And I need a profile, so let's go for profile. And this should look something like this. Make sure you don't snap here that angle. Let's go straight up and then go over here like that and close that profile. No, I don't want to use those H and V parallel constraints, so I will delete them. Okay, so this line should be a center line. Yes, and now let's constrain this profile. Let's start here. This should be... No, I don't want an angle. So to that point here. Okay, then from this line to that line. From this line to that point here from this line to that line and from that line down to this one then from this one to that one it should be a diameter from this line to that point here another diameter from this line to that one, let's drag it down another diameter. From this line to this point, again a diameter. And from this line to that line, again a diameter. Okay. Let's align this with the axis system. Make this one coincident and make this one coincident to the set axis. Now I want to use that edit multi constraint. And it starts here. Please take care. That's a diameter. But in order to make it work, you have to use the radius here inside that tool. So the first radius should be 40. The next one should be 20. Next one should be 14. Next one should be 12. And the last diameter that should be 7 is radius. Now that length should be 107. That length should be 95. This one 72. That one 30, and the last one should be 10. Now let's go for OK, and it's done. Maybe, just maybe, move this one a little bit up like that. So, like this. Looks better. OK, leave that sketch. Let's make a revolve that center line will be recognized, so no need to select it, and it should be 360 degrees and confirm. Now I want to make a hole and a circular pattern. I will use a 3D point, and that should sit at 0, 30, 0. Let's select that 
point, select the tool, select the surface. This should be 11 mm in diameter. It should be up to next and the type should be a simple one. Yes, that's OK and confirm. Now a circular pattern. I want to have a complete crown. I want to have four instances. The reference element should be that set axis in this case. And I don't want to pattern the current solid, but just that hole here. And you should activate keep specifications in order to use that one in the, the assembly. OK, and I'm done. So I hope it was helpful. Hope you liked it. If you did like it, please give it a like and leave a comment. If you want to see more, please give it a like and leave a comment. And please subscribe to my YouTube channel. It would really help. You could follow me also on Facebook, Instagram, Grabcat and many more. Thanks for watching. See you to the next one. Bye-bye.